volume precedes price. Volume has been used for market interpretation since the earliest beginnings of what we know as a stock market. From early paper charts where volume was hand calculated, volume was used to help establish a trend's health. The rule being, volume precedes price. The idea is that low volume indicates that a trend will continue as a simple aberration, but high volume indicates trend deviation or even reversal. This indicates institutional players changing their position as opposed to the common retail trader. Difficult to visualize, however. This is where Joseph Granville came in. The development of on-balance volume came about in the early 1960s and first published in Granville's book, The New Key to Stock Market Profits. One of the first indicators to use market volume, the on-balance volume, is the total of the volume starting from zero on the first candle. With a bullish candle, the volume of the period is added. If bearish, the volume of the period is subtracted. This method to visualize the volume allows the trader to easily look for situations where the price and volume are moving in opposite directions to each other. So while the previous method of looking for high volume reversal still holds true, this allows the trader to look for bullish and bearish divergences relative to the price. Here is a recent example. We see here that the price in Bitfinex descends, but volume increases, an indication of accumulation and sellers exhausting. This is a bullish divergence which played out with significant upside. It may also be used in conjunction with trend lines. Like breaks of the trend line during price action, an early break of the OBV trend line can signal a change in trend. Again, the volume precedes the price. Later, Mark Chaikin developed the Accumulation Distribution Line, also known as Volume Accumulation Distribution Line. Similar to the OBV, where they both use accumulation of the volume to detect divergences between the volume and the price. Where the ADL differs is that it uses a function known as the Money Flow Multiplier to calculate the relationship of the closing price to the high and low of the candle. This function is as follows. The output will be between 1 and minus 1, with 0 being the center of the candle. Positive output for bullish, and negative output for bearish. This is then multiplied by the volume of the period to calculate the money flow volume, which is then added to the previous money flow volume using the same rules as the OBV we talked about earlier. The advantage of this over the OBV is that while a candle may significantly gap up during a gravestone doji for example, the OBV may significantly rise if the candle is close to higher than the open. However, the ADL would recognize the position of the candle relative to the candle wick and signal this as bearish. The ADL may also be used to spot divergences. An example being where the price drops significantly but the ADL increases, indicating the close is relatively high compared to the candle breadth, essentially price accumulation. There are some potential downsides to this method of trend interpretation. The ADL is a derivative of the OBV, and such two degrees removed from the price data. Since the ADL ignores the previous candle close, the trend of the ADL can be highly divergent to the price trend. So like all indicators, this method of analysis is to be used in conjunction with other indicators, and not to be relied on solely. There are more a strong risk management plan and fundamental integrity analysis of the securities required volume precedes the price. Thank you very much for watching and cheers. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Next video is RSI and Stochastics.